Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's ball for final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of August, so we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SNS GFS and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we're trying to cover the weeks. We'll have a look at Surface B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us towards the final stages of August. I'll get time for that for you in a moment, just to say that first video reset was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released a week ahead forecast and the second autumn 2023 season one roundup. Please check out those two videos if you would like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on video. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on around 9 or 10 subscribers now. That is all. We need single digits uh, to get us out to 16.5k. Uh, so you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family do subscribe it would be incredible and we thank you so very much everybody for doing that for gals or whether it's thanks so much everyone uh right okay let's start off then with the central intention ct is currently sitting at 16 Point one ticked up ever so slightly yesterday, so we're point one of a degree above sixty one to ninety nine. The average up for visual two yesterday to the twenty eighth of July. That will probably tick down. I would have thought for the final couple of days of a month, I would have matched this going to end up around sixteen point zero, maybe fifteen point nine by a month's end. It'll be interesting to see where we finish up with that. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. Uh, we're, generally, uh, we're generally set to stay average or below average through the uh, first week of August here. Yeah, there could be a particularly cool spell uh, sometime between around the 4th and the 8th or the 9th of August. Beyond that, into the uh, second week of the month and up to mid-month, we might find a bit of a recovery in those upper air temperature temperatures. There are one or two hot outliers starting to creep in now. Only a few, but could be one to watch for a mid-month uh, warm-up. But reliably, within the next week, 10 days anyway, it looks as though the weather will be staying cool in terms of the upper air temperatures and particularly when we've got outbreaks of rain, survey temperatures as well. Um, Precipitation-wise, there's more rain to come, though uh, the rest of the weekend shouldn't be too bad for London, although there will be rain elsewhere tomorrow. But uh, through next week, it looks quite unsettled, actually, with uh, rather big precipitation spikes that may set they are set to continue into next weekend as well. Beyond that, through the second week of August, possibly a little bit of a drying trend coming through uh, then. But again, it's all a long way off, all very extended. So if we look at the sort of 7 to 10 day time frame, then it's cool and unsettled. There might be a bit of a warm up and a change, something slightly drier by mid August. Temperature anomaly is on the 29th of July, 6th of August, coming up below average. Precipitation anomaly is from the 29th of July to 6th of August, wetter than average in many areas. So cool and wet <laughs> for the week ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, from that from Earth's nodschool.net shows so we've got low pressure to the northwest of Scotland. We bring the wind in from off the Atlantic. So, yes, looking unsettled and showery this weekend. Right, let's go through the chart data then. This is how the UK met your alert. It's looking midnight on Tuesday. Low pressure in the North Sea. That will be bringing showery and cool conditions too. Wednesday, we've got this area of low pressure. Just here, a bit of uncertainty about this. Some models are taking that in across England and Wales. Some models are taking that down towards France. Let's see what the UK met does with it. UK met actually runs it in across the south and across the northern parts of France. So that would limit the wet weather with that to more southern parts of the country. That clears out of way anyway, and we go into this run of northerly winds at the end of next week. They'll be bringing showers with them. And then by next Saturday, we've got another area of low pressure waiting in the wings. Icon, again, looking rather cool and showery on Tuesday into Wednesday. That area of low pressure with Icon is more down over France, actually, so we don't get much wet weather from that. But we do pull the wind into that cool and showery northerly. And then by the time we get through to the next Saturday with Icon, a major dark board area of low pressure whipping itself up in the Atlantic, probably threatening wet and windy weather to sweep across the country next weekend. Oh dear. GFS midnight run once more is looking rather showery and cool on Tuesday. 
And then we have this area of low pressure running in across southern parts of the coast that brings heavy rain to England and Wales, cool, showery north, northeast winds following along behind. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all looking rather showery with those northerly. Then we've got this next area of low pressure, which really does wind itself up next weekend. It becomes a major feature heavy rain and gale force winds sweeping across the country with that eventually by day 10 we're back into those cool and showery northerns again and then more showery conditions keep going as we run on through the second week of uh, the month and that's how we aimed up by the 14th of august again looking a little bit on the showery side and quite cool as well with northwesterly breezes GFS 6Z, probably not quite as unsettling the second week of the month as the first week, though, then. GFS 6Z, again, looks rather showering and cool for Tuesday. There's that area of low pressure on Wednesday. That comes in across England and Wales. That bring very wet weather to England and Wales, middle part of the week. Very cool temperatures with that as well. The low pressure moves off into the low countries by Thursday. Turns wind into a cool and showery north northeasterly. Um, we don't get that major area of low pressure for GFS 6Z next weekend, interestingly. It doesn't get whipped up. So uh, we get an area of low pressure north of Scotland, but no gale force winds next weekend and no heavy rain on the GFS 6Z. Um, day 10, we've got wind in from the north. So we'll have a cool and showering um, northerly winds then. And uh, then let's see what happens. So just keeps low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic, really. So this is the 10th of August, for example, 300 hours away, long way out, but more low pressure being further showery conditions to northern parts of the country. If we go out beyond that, we've got more areas of low pressure downstream. So it's all looking rather mix with both the GFS output. We aimed up there on the 14th of August on the 6th Z, again with quite a deep area of low pressure for the time of year anyway across the country. So both the GFS runs are quite dismal. There is a difference before next weekend though, as the midnight run turns things wet and windy and the 6th Z just has things rather cool and showering. If you're enjoying this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather Vids. We thank you so much everyone for doing that. GM, again with low pressure over the country on uh, Tuesday. And then in comes this major low through Wednesday, bringing heavy rain potentially to England and Wales. That low pressure clears off into North Sea, Bursley to Friday and pulls down this cool and showery northerly wind. More low pressure in off the Atlantic next weekend. Not particularly stormy, but certainly further bouts of rain coming in off the Atlantic next weekend with the GEM. And up to day 10, which gets us to the 8th of August. Yes, we've got more low pressure in the Atlantic waiting to advance in. And finally, the East Sham at WF looks like that. So cool, showery conditions for Tuesday and into Wednesday. We don't get that area of low pressure. So the East Sham actually has below down here to west of Biscay and uh, takes it in over France. So quite a bit of uncertainty about what's happening on Wednesday with that low. Whatever does happen, we go into a run of northerly winds through to Thursday, basically in showery conditions with them. And then into next weekend, the East Yem has that major low whipping itself up Saturday through to Sunday, bringing heavy bouts of rain and gale force winds across the country. Who's up for some <laughs> for some summer gales? And by day 10, we've got the low pressure with all sea again. Winds back in from the north, rather cool, showery northerly winds re-emerging there by the 8th of August. This is a precipitation forecast based on that. East Yem run from Tometio.com. Plenty of showers to come in the north today and then more wet weather in off the Atlantic through tomorrow and into Monday as well. Uh, middle of next week, so heavy showers, maybe some longer spells of rain coming through at times as well with both northerly winds. And then next weekend, there's a big low to West Scotland bringing wet and windy weather across the country along with showers and longer spells of rain as well. These are the options on the table within the ECM on Solid Day 4, Day 10, gets us to the 8th of August from the Oceanic Met Office. 14 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over and to the east of the country. A ridge is in the Atlantic and winds are in from the door, so cool and showery. 10 with low pressure again, just to the east again, looking cool and showery with that one. 9 with low pressure 
over the country. We've got eight with low pressure to the east and a ridge out to the west. Again, rather cool shower with that. Six with low pressure over to the east of the country and four with low pressure just to the northeast. They're all looking unsettled at day 10 in two weeks' time. These are the options that we got. Size of a change, maybe. Uh, this is the 13th of August. 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure beginning to start ridging up from the southwest. So it should be turning a little bit drier and warmer, especially for the south. 19 still unsettled, though, with low pressure to the west of the country. So that remains unsettled and showery. And 11 has high pressure taking over properly, big time. Uh, ridge of high pressure through the North Atlantic and up to Scandinavia. That will bring the wind in from the east. That's a much drier and also significantly warmer option. 11 dear match. So it's a minority option, but of course, I've got the 21 here that look to be trending towards a high pressure solution. So, by mid August, we're talking about this in videos lately. <coughs> Excuse me, by mid August, we might see a switch from low pressure to high pressure. We might see. A return of summer. I think the odds on that have increased a little bit with the overnight model runs. It still is though um, a long way out and, and no more than a possibility, albeit perhaps a slightly strengthened chance of that today. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height and knowledge breaking down into which periods. The first week period takes from the 29th of July to 4th of August. This next week will be unsettled with low pressure owed to the east of the country. And we bring in most cool and showery north or northwest winds. Week 2 is going to be the 5th to the 11th of August with low pressure over to the east of Ridge in the Atlantic. Again, cool and showery conditions with that to a week three will be the 12th to the 18th of August, low pressure to the north of Scotland. That also looking rather cool and showery. Week four will be the 19th to 25th of August. So high pressure building across eastern parts of Europe then. That brings very hot air probably at the eastern side of Europe. High pressures in the Atlantic. We probably still remain under some sort of upper level trough there though. I think so. Although not as unsettled, probably still a bit mixed, and we're not properly under high pressure there, even by week four by any means. So, whether we do get this change to higher pressure and a return of summer in the middle and second half of August, there's still a lot of doubt and uncertainty about it. All I would say for now is watch this space. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please give you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals World Business. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that for us. Right, I'll just tell you what's coming. As I say, 910 sub going to get us to 16.5k. So we're so close now to 16,500 subscribers. Please sub, sub, sub. And uh, let's get our next 100 in the bank for our subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, just tell you what's coming Tomorrow, we can start our 16 UK weather forecast. We've got the sixth autumn update. It's a QBO special this week. We're doing gas where it's sunny roundup, and they can be live streaming at 6 pm. Had loads of long range for our live stream at 6. Um, we will look at CFS and we'll also look at the Copernicus suite of models as well and uh, break those down on a month by month basis. So, uh, yes, a lot to come uh, tomorrow. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. But for this video and for today's videos, that's all now. Ah, but it's not you.